Hi, I'm Peter Clancy, your host of Clancy's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to use those unwanted food scraps and turn them into a healthy meal the whole family will enjoy. So let's see what's in the fridge. Okay, I'm seeing uh, an apple. Um, we got looks like some ham, hummus, a bag of baked lays. I don't know what that's doing in there. Um, carrots and what appears to be an old pepper. So I'm gonna get these materials and we're gonna get cooking. All right, so now that we've got our ingredients, I'm gonna show you how to make a hearty American dish that everyone's going to enjoy. All right, so let's start with the pepper here. Some peppers you find in the fridge are gonna be a little worse for wear, so it's best you throw those away. Move on to the hummus. That seems fresh enough. The apple works well. Carrots, orange enough for me. Baked glaze unopened, 65% less fat. You're going to want to use that if you want to avoid bloating in your diet. And finally, 95% um, fat free ham. You can find this at any um, supermarket or, in my case, in the bottom of your fridge. So, Let's mix them all up and see what we get. All right, so we're going to start by chopping the apple into large oblong shaped pieces. Okay. No shape is too strange. We just got to get this apple separate. Perfect. We're going to toss those in the pan. We're going to put that aside for later. Move on to the carrots. We want to just get them all nice up in there. Um, same thing, just get them all separated. And then you get that one piece you really like, you're going to toss that in the pan. The rest of this, we could just, it's to treat us, you're going to throw that away. Now we're going to move on to the baked lays. Okay, now these are the cornerstone of this dish. All right, so you're going to find the one you really want. Throw that one away. You get the rest out here. Same thing, small pieces. Okay, just throw that in there. All right, hummus. Let's kill two birds with one stone here. You take one of your excess lays, dip it in there, get a little mush in there, throw that in there. All right, bing, bang, boom, we're having fun. Alright, so once you got the hummus off your hands, what you're going to do is normally you move on to the ham, but as I just found out, the ham is actually several years expired. So instead, we're going to be using some tamari, excuse me, gluten-free teriyaki sauce. And that will actually take the place of the ham because it's kind of a thickener. So this is going to go right in there. Just kind of use however much you see fit. Okay. And then I was also backstage, one of the stand chants told me, we have this lovely cranberry health mix. So we're going to throw that on as a nice garnish. So we're going to kind of slice that open, okay? Find some good ones, and we're going to throw them in there. Okay, can we get a close up on that, please? Mmm, so that looks good. So we're going to take it to the flame and see what happens. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to mix it up just a little bit. You know, this is one of your, just a carrot you can find you know, in the garden, on the ground. In my case, uh, I picked it out of the garbage. So you're gonna get these nice and... There we go. Now doesn't that look terrific? Can we get a close up on that place? Doesn't that look mm -mm good? All right. You're not gonna find that recipe anywhere else. This is a Clancy Kitchen exclusive. The chips are a little large, you can break those up a little bit. Uh, you know what, carrot wasn't in the garbage for too long, we're gonna leave it in there. We're gonna get ourselves a lid. have a lid, Tupperware square, top will work just fine. You're going to throw that on, and now we're going to add a little bit of the magic fire and see what happens. Alright, well it's been 20 minutes now, let's see what happens. Just move the Tupperware, and oh would you look at that, we've got ourselves some lovely looking beef broccoli. Notice how the teriyaki sauce and the carrots meshed with the cashews and the almonds create a nice braising on this meat right there. 
Ooh. Can you smell that? I know I can, and it smells delicious. All right, now you can take some of these little, this is just excess, you don't need any of this. What you're really going for is, you know, a little bit of the brown, that's all you really need. <laughs> All right. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for turning into this week's episode. Personally, in fact. And I want to remind all of you to turn into Monday's Meat Monday extravaganza while I'll attempt to cook a live pig on video. Thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a good day.